What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video I'm going to be walking you guys through all the steps that I take in order to get this Ford Ranger ready to go for sale. This is a flip vehicle um, and as you guys can see on the screen we are changing out the hood first and foremost. Now I don't know if you guys have seen this because it was early on in the channel but I basically made a video about how I lost $5,000 flipping a truck and that truck was a Ford Ranger and this hood is off of that truck. Basically, to make a long story short, I had a buddy that helped me drive a truck home from Dallas that I was going to flip, and he literally flipped the truck into a ditch. Luckily, I was able to salvage this hood, and this hood is now on this truck. What you guys are looking at now is I'm doing a little bit of undercoating on the Ford Ranger on all of the cars that I get. Typically, the older ones, I like to do undercoating. Really, all of them, though, if you blacken out the wheel wells, it just makes it look a lot better. So that's something that I like to do on all the Ford Rangers. As you guys can see here, my dad is doing some work to the top of the truck, which you guys will see right here. It's just very dry, very oxidized. So it was going to take a lot of work to get it looking right again. And that's why we changed out the hood as well, just because it was over oxidized it you know I just had a better situation with the other hood so we just went ahead and swapped those two out but as guys can see here my dad's definitely putting in some good work trying to get the top of this car back to you know as good as we can get it now as far as the headlights go I kind of changed my perspective a little bit because typically we would change out the headlights spend about 80 to a hundred dollars and get brand new headlights for it however we were trying a different method with this one where we were just sanding down you know that top layer of the headlight and then my dad's going to come back with the buffer and you guys will see that the you know finished product was actually very good so they came out really nicely so i'm not sure if we're going to still buy headlights anymore it just depends on how good we are in it and how nice we want it to be maybe the higher end Ford Rangers maybe we might throw some new headlights on it but this just went a lot better than you know what we expected because we usually don't try to restore the headlights to any extent um, now right here I'm doing a little bit of cleaning on the inside showing you guys what I do to the door um, I wasn't able to get as much footage of me cleaning out the inside and as guys can see here my dad's polishing up the headlights which came out really really well um, the sanding took off that top layer of yellowness and like I said, I'm kind of reevaluating whether or not we're going to be changing out headlights on some of the other vehicles that we have. I guess we'll just have to take it situation by situation. Now, these tires, I'm using a different product than I've ever used before. And as you guys can see, it pulls the dirt like almost out of the tire. It's so cool. It was a uh, Meguiar's, I think, hot. I don't know, something hot wheel and tire. I can't really read it from the picture, but it worked really well. I sprayed it on there and it pulled all the dirt to the surface. Um, and then I'm just coming through with a magic eraser and taking off, you know, anything else off the rims. As you guys can see, we put four new tires on this vehicle. So this was the, we actually put three new tires. One of the tires had already been on there. That's the one I was cleaning. Um, also, we went ahead and, or I went ahead and spray painted the um, windshield wiper arms just gives it a better look they were kind of rusted and faded um, so it just brings those back to life and as you guys will see here I'm gonna show you guys the pictures that I ended up posting um, for the vehicle um, for sale on Facebook just so you guys can get an idea of how it finished out as you guys can see there's no more yellow tint on the headlights um, the car polished out nice you know the um, windshield wiper arms are nice and black the interior came out very well I put in some new floor mats as well as I just detailed it out um, so yeah, that's pretty much how this cleaning process went. I wish I could have got a little bit more footage for you guys. However, I will in the next one. If you guys want to see anything in particular, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.